let's solve this integration question from J. So we're asked to find the area of this region. So let's begin by just drawing the region itself. Okay, so now what do we have to draw? We have to draw y is less than or equal to 8 over x. And then we can get y is greater than or equal to 1. And y is less than or equal to x squared. So let's draw each of these separately. So now another thing to notice i've just labeled these points because when we find the area we might need to use integration and so it's good to label the points and we also want this one because we might end up breaking this into two shapes right into this one and this one on the right and finding that so let's find this point of intersection so this is the point when y so 8 over x is equal to x squared so if 8 over x equals x squared, you can probably work this out in your head. Uh, what is the answer? Well, that's x equals 2. And what is the y coordinate? Right. So then y is equal to, put in 2 in either of these and you'll get 4. So it's 2 comma 4. Now we will draw a line down, just perpendicular to that. To make this section over here, so this is now going to be 2 comma 1. Now we've got this section and this section. These out you have to find individually and then add up. So what if we find the integral from 1 to 2, we'll end up getting this entire thing, right? So we'll end up getting, we'll get all of this as well. And we don't want any of that. Actually, there are two approaches from here. You can uh, try to solve it from here yourself. Now, all you have to do is some integration. But there are two main ways to do it. One thing is to just actually see what, what is this area. This has a height of 1 and a width of 1. So this just has an area of 1, okay? This has an area of 1. And the same with this. You could also implement this directly in the integration by doing minus x minus 1 inside. But that's actually a slightly longer approach and it requires some more work. So instead, we can just see what area we're going to be finding. We're going to be finding this thing plus this extra rectangle, right? Because that's the extra area that comes. So let's do that directly. What is this length over here? This length is 7. This height is 1. So this has an area of 7. So that's area equals 7. Now let's find both of these. Okay, so what is this part? This is going to be an integral from 1 to 2 of uh, x squared dx. And this gives us, uh, try to calculate it yourself, x cubed over 3 from 2 to 1, which gives us 7 thirds. Um, and then the next integral that we have is this one, this section over here. So that's from 2 to 8 of 8 over x dx. Now this integral is going to be the So we've got this and this. Now we could add them up. We'll get 16 natural log of 2. Sorry, natural log of 2 plus 7 thirds. And this isn't an answer over here. But remember, we also have to subtract this 7 because this thing has included all of this extra land, which we don't want. So now we do minus 7. So it's 8. So that's the answer. I hope you enjoyed this video.